Hello, my name is Kate and this is a charity shop haul. So I've got lots to show you, some items that I found the other day and some things that I found a while ago in Bognor Regis when, when we went away for um, my 40th birthday. And I'll link that vlog in the description in case you didn't see it because we went all around the charity shops in Bognor and they were brilliant. So I've shown off some of the things and then I kept back a few bits um, for this haul. This is another extra video. This is a touch of Vlogmas. So I'll link the rest of the series, I say series, the other videos, um, a touch of Vlogmas this is and um, some hauls and weekend vlogs in the description in case you want to watch those. So this is just an extra vlog for Christmas and I've got lots of charity shop things. So I better get on with it and show you them. Before I do, I'm going to do my mug of the day as I always do if you watch my videos. And I love this one. Oh, got a bit of lipstick on it. I'll show you this side. Um, yeah, so this is from Primark last year. It was actually sent to me last year when I used to have a PO box. I don't have it anymore. Um, so I'm very sorry if you wanted to send. I've had a few people ask, but I just, I felt really bad people like sending me things. I love getting the cards and the letters, but I felt bad people spending their money on me. And also it was really expensive, um, you know, to keep the PO box. It was like 300 and something quid. So it was really expensive and I just felt guilty as well. So um, yeah, I just, if there, I wish there was a way to get sent cards without having a PO box and without people spending money and letters. I love, used to love getting the letters. Anyway, um, you've not come here to watch me talk about PO boxes and letters and cards, but yeah, I don't have a PO box anymore. I'm very sorry if you did ask that recently. But yeah, this is my mug of the day. It's from Primark originally. It's got little gingerbread people all over it. And I, lo I love this, one of my favourite ones. And I've got a winter spice Ribena um, hot drink because I just fancied it. I'm filming a few videos in, in this in this day, on this day today. It's Saturday afternoon and I just felt like having another, this one's boiling hot though, another hot berry juice. So this is my mug of the day. We call it hot berry juice because when we went to Lapland a few years ago, um, we drank a lot of hot berry juice. So we don't call it Robina Winter Spice. Me and Toby call it hot, be hot berry juice or hot belly juice. Anyway, I'll get on with the haul. I'll start off with the Christmas items. This is for my dad, this meerkat. He loves meerkats. So I'm going to wrap this up um, for Christmas and it says Merry Christmas. And he's in really good condition. He looks brand new. And he was two pounds from Sue Ryder. And I did see some of the other ones. They had like different clothes on, but I think they were more expensive for like four or five pounds or something. So I left those and just bought this like Christmas one. So hopefully my dad will like it. I don't know if he will. He's really hard to buy for. He'll probably go, that's great. And then he'll like, you'll never see it again. And then I also got this from Bognor Regis. And I can't remember where this was from, but it was only 49p. And this is just some hollies and berries but it's actually quite realistic I don't know why I've kept it in the bag for so long I should have put it in um, one of my vases but I will do now oh there's a bird outside um <laughs> right so yeah that was 49p I got this I don't know why I'm turning around I'm trying to find a price tag oh it's underneath <laughs> I was like thought it'd be around the corner okay if you can probably see this here it's like eucalyptus this is kind of Christmassy as well I suppose eucalyptus with some little sort of snowberry things on I could use this all year round though, I'm sure. It's pretty, isn't it? And this was one pound from RSPCA charity shop. And this was Bogner Regis as well. And I saw this just before Louise did, because I think she might have liked this. And there's like a concrete base with a little painted silver bottom with yeah, just eucalyptus. Or if they're um if these are called something else, they're kind of furry. Let me know. And I took a bit of a gamble on this. It's a perfume, it's called Colour Me. What does it say here? Colour me red, oh red, oh red. And I googled it. I was like, is that going to be weird or is that good? It was only a quid. So I thought I would try it. I'd, I'd take the gamble. Um, So I, I'll smell it now, actually. So I thought it was only a pound. There's quite a lot in here. Uh, How much does it say? Let me take the cardboard bit off. So it's in a good, a nice sort of plastic tough box. And there is... How many millilitres? 100 millilitres Eau de Parfum spray. And it had a make on it. What make was it? Because I looked it up. What does it say? Long lasting, red oh red. It's called something because I, I googled it. Oh, oh, there we go. Milton Lloyd Cosmetics. Um, and I'm going to spray some of this now. So I'm going to take it out of this box. It might be dreadful or it might be amazing. Can I smell it? But for a pound. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Sorry if you love this scent. Right. Oh, that was a big spray. Hmm. Don't. Don't know. 
know. Not sure. <laughs> no, I don't think it's not. It's not for me. I am going to redonate that. Somebody, it might be someone else's favourite. And I'm sure I prefer. No, it's kind of like it feels like an old, an older scent. Like, like you, like someone when I was younger, I'd give them a hug, like and who, like one of my mum's friends, and then you'd smell of this for hours. Do you know what I mean? When you give people hugs and you smell of their perfume. It's kind of like that. It takes me back. So that is going. Oh no, that's gone. Oh well. I'll take that back to the charity shop. They'll never know. You know they'll, somebody else will buy it. It might be their favourite. But it's that's not for me. But it was worth the gamble because <coughs> you never know. And it looked quite good online. Really strong. Okay, my next item is lovely and it smells amazing. I like that one. I don't know. Is that for a man? I don't really know it's just it's very strong and I think the whole bedroom is going to smell of it for like eight hours um, this is a candle that I picked up in Bognor Regis as well and I think this was from Dubai originally it says Camel Company on the bottom and there's pictures of like Dubai 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 I had trouble saying that for some reason that was a pound I'm not sure why the stick is on the inside I think it must have ended up there it was probably on the bottom um I can't remember where that was from Somewhere in Bognor Regis, it smells gorgeous. That smells lovely. If the perfume smelled like that, I'd be really happy. That smells really nice. Doesn't tell me the scent. It just says Camel Company, Dubai. Oh, that's why it does say Dubai there on the side. And it just says, can burn for up to 35 hours. That is my candle. I also bought this lovely little note set. And, oh, it's this way, sorry. It was a pound, as you can see there. And it's Caroline Gardner Writing Kit. And I've seen some of her things in TK Maxx and they're all really pretty, aren't they? Like her cards and different things. And this is, um, yeah, so you can write letters and it's got little envelopes as well. And I don't write that many letters, but you know when you write little notes or I like that kind of thing. There's stickers, envelopes. I could always send these through the post and they'd look lovely. How nice are they? For a pound I thought I'd get them. And, uh, and use them so pretty or they could even be like do little thank you letters after our wedding really pretty I can't resist things like this for a pound little bits of stationery it's just gorgeous right so that's that uh I've got some things on the floor here so I'll just pick up a few I'll just have like a view of the top of my head um right so these are all from Bognor Regis again I think or maybe not no I don't, I don't think this one was but these were this was a pound um, from East Coast Hospice. Got my hair on it. Um, and there's three different fake flowers. So a pound for this little bundle. And we'll use these for our wedding somehow, somewhere, just popped in a vase. So I've just been collecting different flowers. And these were 50p for all of them from Bognor Regis, from one of the charity shops. I can't remember what it was called, but it was just like full of stuff. And I just wish we'd had more time in there. These are a little bit intertwined. Oh, it doesn't really matter. I'll just show you like this, <laughs> a bit random. Um, that one's poking out a bit. So just lots of, I think there's three kind of, three like that, Look like they were attacking you then. And there's a few sort of pretty little wildy looking ones. So 50 piece, oh, and those too. They're pretty, aren't they? They've got the colors, like the peachy color we're having for our wedding. Oh, look, it's like, I look like Father Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> um, yeah, so 50p for, for all of these flowers that make you look like Father Christmas. I've got two bags here. One is an amazing find. I was really excited about seeing it and I was like, do I need it? Gonna have to have it. Probably didn't need it, but I had to have it. Had, had to have it? Had to have it. This is just a really simple little clutch bag or it could be a makeup bag. And I nearly didn't get this, but then I thought, oh, I could use it. It was only a quid. It was very cheap. And I think originally it's from ASOS. You can see inside there, it's in perfect condition. It's got a little zip, so I could use it as a clutch or use it as a little purse. Um, that's kind of like a dusky pink. That's really nice, like perfect condition. Yeah, I like that. I think it used to have, it's got little circle bits there. So it probably used to have a strap, but it doesn't anymore. That's nice, isn't it? So good for a pound. And then this is the bag that I was really excited about. I've not had a Radley bag before, or have I? I don't think I have. I think Lee bought me one years ago. I really wanted one, but he bought me a little bag and it didn't have a shoulder strap. So we ended up taking that back and exchanging it. That was years ago. It was like 11 years ago or something. 
and I don't think I have had one since. So this is perfect for me. It's a little over the shoulder bag, so like a side bag, because I love, I love wearing these. Um, and it's got black dots all over it. It's kind of like a, a greyy brown. It's like a greyy brown. I quite like that colour. It's like a natural tone, isn't it? And it's got, it's got a zip. No, it just says Radley London on the front. I thought that was a the zip then, but it's not. It's just a little detail. And there's a little bit at the back as well. I could put something in. Maybe that'd be good for tissues. And that was £5. There's a tiny mark on the front there. But where is it? There. Can't really see that. I don't know if you can see that there. But you wouldn't be able to notice that when it's on. I think it's leather. The inside is lovely. It's an absolute perfect condition. So I don't know if that's been used or... I don't know, it looks perfect, doesn't it? Like, that's absolutely brand new, apart from the little mark on the front. And there's um, a pocket there, and then quite good, good area in the middle, and then a zip here to put things in. Imagine if, like, you opened a zip and you found, like, 50 quid, and I'd have to take it back to the charity shop, but that would be nice, wouldn't it, if you found, like, a load of money in there. Um, so it's just Radley. Ta -da. I don't think I've ever had that when I bought something and found, like, treasure inside. Let me know if you've ever bought something and then you've opened it up and there's been something inside. A little nice surprise. So £5 for that bag, which I think is lovely. So I'm really pleased to have found that and I'll definitely use it. Oh, no, I thought that was it. I've got three more things to show you. I'll put them all up together. I can still smell that perfume. I'm really sorry if that's your perfume, perfume and you love it. But we all have different tastes and scents. Um, not that I ate it, but I mean, you know, we have different taste in perfume that's what i'm trying to say so the last three items i've got to show you are these yankee candles well they're probably i don't know if they are yankee candles but they're yankee candle um little what are these called glass lanterns they're like mini lanterns so they're quite chunky yankee handle ones they look the candle actually looks a bit dirty but as soon as i burn that it will be fine the dust is a bit of dust on the top which is a little bit gross but as soon as I burn that, the dust will go. Uh, or I could just wipe it, I suppose. But really chunky, cute, votive candle size. And I've got quite a few of these votive candles, but I haven't got the holders that I need. So I think these, obviously, they'll be perfect for it. They were £1 each, so I had to get the two of those. And I don't know if they are Yankee candles or not. They don't actually smell, but I will give those a clean. And the final thing I'm going to show you is such a good buy. So this was from Bognorides as well. And when I saw it, I was really excited. And I was like, that's a Kath Kidston original. If I'm wrong, let me know. But I'm pretty sure that is a Kath Kidston original jug. And I do have it. I did buy another original Kath Kidston jug that's downstairs. But this would be perfect for the wedding or just, you know, for tea and coffee. It's just lovely. I can't. Or for flowers. Like, could do a little small bunch of flowers would be gorgeous in there, wouldn't they? There you go. I'll show you the bottom. I think that is an original one. Let me know if you know your Kath Kidston. You might know a lot better than me, but I'm pretty sure that is. It looks like an original one. And it was three ninety nine, which I think is a good price um, for a Kath Kidston useful little jug. So cute. That's like the classic Kath Kidston design, isn't it? Oh, I love it. I love it even if it isn't original. I don't really care. I just love it anyway. So that is everything. That is my charity shop haul for you this evening. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your favourite item of everything. If I had to choose, I'd probably say... Hmm. Oh, no, I've got two more things. I haven't finished yet. I've got two bits of clothing. Ah, two items of clothes. Two clothing items to show you. And then I'll finish my video. So very quickly, I've got this black dress. Um, It's just plain kind of t-shirt material or jersey material and it's got like a pleated skirt so I think that'd be really flattering the pleats obviously going down um, and I think that'll be nice on so I'll take that to Thailand that'd be a good one for like traveling on the aeroplane because it's just so comfy so hopefully that will look nice also I could probably wear this with a jumper because the skirt part is really nice and it's down like just above the knee so that's a really nice skirt so that was from Red Herring originally size 12 can you see that yeah, and it was £3 from Sue Ryder. And then my final thing is this Jules jumper that I found in Bernardo's in Lowestoft, the new one. So you might have watched the vlog from the weekend. I'll link it in the description in case you didn't. I had a little bit of filming in there, but that was only £2. I saw that straight away as soon as I walked in there. Well, 
as soon as I walked around to the clothing bit, I saw it and I thought that was brilliant for two pounds. It's in good condition. It's a size 14. I love this little jewels top. I think it's very nice um, and brilliant for two pounds because brand new might have been like 25 pounds or 30 quid or maybe more. I'm not sure, but that is everything. The final two things snuck in. They just made it to this haul. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed, then please do. And I'll link some other videos I said in the description. And what was I going to say? Tomorrow, I've got a Poundland haul. Friday, I've got a brilliant video with you and where we did a Christmas gift exchange. And yeah, he got me some lovely things. So that's going to be a really nice video to watch. So that's uh, tomorrow and Friday. And then I don't think I have anything for Saturday. If I do, I'll let you know. And Sunday, I'm not sure either, but definitely Monday with the weekend. Oh no, I have got one for Sunday. It's another one with you and I think. It's a silly one. Could be the mulled wine one where we had some mulled wine. So yeah, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos. And I will speak to you very soon, tomorrow at six o'clock. In the meantime, come over to Instagram. I'm Kate McCabe and my house account is Kate's Homely Home and they'll also be linked down there. So thanks for watching. Have a great day or great evening and I'll speak to you soon or day. You could be watching this in the daytime. If so, have a lovely time. Okay. Bye.